Right, okay then, fan reaction time. Berlin nil, QPR nil, and yeah, it, it, it was frustrating. It, it definitely was frustrating to not capitalise on Leeds dropping points in the earlier game and to let Sunderland get further away from us again because obviously they won in midweek whereas we, we drew. They've won again this weekend whereas we've drew and obviously Sheffield United as well that they, they've had a couple of defeats but bounced back today. So it's frustrating how we still are where we are in the league it, it, it is beyond me because there's been so many times where we've dropped points now where you wouldn't have expected us to drop points. Preston at home, Blackburn at home, Oxford away, even Hull away, really. I'm sure there's some more in there as well that I'm forgetting. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's it's not been a... You know, it, it feels weird saying this when we are where we are. When it, it, where we are, where we are, easy for me to say, in the league. But, you know, it, it's not been great, has it? Because it, it, it should have been better. For the points that we've dropped, in my opinion, it, it should have been better. There's been some good results in there as well, obviously. Uh, winning at Luton. I kind of forget about that because that was so long ago, obviously the first game of the season. And, you know, it, it was a different squad. Different squad of players. Um, and obviously the, the win away at Leeds. Um, that, that were obviously a good result as well. So there has been some good, good results in there. And I do feel like the away games suit us better at the minute. Um, but, I mean, that's... Easy for me to say after we've just drawn away at Hull and we've got awful in that game. But I, I think we've been better in the away games since we've had the new squad. Uh, new squad, you know what I mean? Like All, all these new players come in and, uh, and we sold a lot of them. Uh, but let's get into today then. There's, there's been a huge meltdown and stuff. As to be fair, you'd expect, because the result is awful. So I kind of understand the meltdown. I just think a lot of people are just screaming, awful, horrendous, this is dreadful, the performance were awful. When it wasn't. The result is awful. The result is awful. In the final third, we were awful. The, the performance wasn't awful. The second half, not as good as the first. In fact, the second half was probably a little bit average, to be fair. The first half was really good. We just couldn't put the ball in the net. We were great defensively. You know, Trafford didn't have anything to do, but, you know, uh, we were great defensively. The midfield... The midfield was an extra 20, 30 yards up the pitch, which is what I've said Loren does for us and why I've wanted him in, in the team more. We were further up the pitch. We just were still a little slow in moving it, but better than what we have been. Just not perfect. It's probably about, in terms of the way we're moving the ball, a 7 out of 10, which is the best we've been this season in, in that department. Again, I, I don't count the Luton and Cardiff games when I say that because... In my opinion, that's a different team. I don't count it. Um, but we were better at moving the ball today. We were quite quick with it. We just would get ourselves in good positions and shit ourselves. Not do anything with it. Not even create chances with it. So we had all that ball. I've not seen the stats, um, but I only remember one shot on target in that first half. Um, so for all the... I think I think the actual official stats, to be fair, I did see on Twitter. I tell a lie about not seeing it because I did see it on Twitter. I think the official stats said at half-time that we had two shots on target. But I only remember the one and it was that Josh Brown little long-range effort. So to say we had so much of the ball, because I think we had like 72% possession in that first half now. If I cast my mind back to that thing I saw on Twitter... To, to just have that one shot on target, or the, a second shot that I've obviously forgotten about, but even then, still, it's it's not enough. We're not doing enough with it, even when we are moving the ball quicker, because we are we did move the ball quicker today, and we did look better in that first half, but created absolutely not absolutely nothing. Like if if you look at the stats again, big chances will probably say zero created, but. It wasn't zero created because Conor Roberts had that chance where that defender did that last-ditch tackle. And if it isn't for that tackle, at the very minimum, Conor gets a shot on target and it's a clear-cut chance. He probably scores. Um, but good defending, to be fair. Um, and I can't remember who it was. You know, I've just watched the highlights back because I'm recording this at like half nine at night. I normally do it pretty much straight away. So I've just watched the highlights back to give myself a memory of, of the games. A reminder is the better word, a memory. Um, but I seem to remember, was it Jaden Anthony had a chance as well that was also a last-ditch tackle? So we were 
creating these chances and getting ourselves in good positions, but we just lacked that killer instinct. That was the thing that we're missing today. And it goes back to the thing that everybody's been complaining about for the entire season. We're just not good enough up front. We're just not good enough up front. And, and people will say, we need creative midfielders, we need better wingers. They would obviously help. But the main thing missing right now, in my opinion, is a striker. That what? We had, I think we had like 15 corners. I'm probably exaggerating there. I don't even know what the official stat is. But I think we had at least, probably more than 15 corners. A good striker puts one of them in the net. It, it, that, that Connor Roberts chance, if, if that falls to a good striker, they probably get the shot away quicker and score. The Jaden Anthony chance as well that I've just mentioned. Humphreys had a chance uh, as well after a corner. You know, there's a bit of a scramble as well. Um, I, 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 just think, I just think if we had a proper out-and-out -out number nine... We would have won that today, in my opinion. But obviously, a lot of people are, 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 are bemoaning the lack of chances created because the official stats will say zero clear-cut chances. It, it wasn't it wasn't as bad as people are making out. People are seeing the result and crying foul because it's an awful result. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It is an awful result. But I don't think the performance was that bad. Scott Parker is getting some criticism now because he's gone and said it's the best performance of the season. And again... I think he's doing what I do, where he just discounts them first two games. He might not be. If, if he thinks that's a better performance than Luton, then yeah, he's an idiot and there's something wrong with him. Do I think he thinks that's a better performance than Luton? No. When he's saying that's the best performance of the season, I think he's referring to this squad, this team, after that Cardiff game. I think he's, he means that. But some perspective, second in the league, nine unbeaten. You know, it's not it's not as bad as people are making out. People are calling for Scott Parker to be sacked. It's ridiculous. We, we, I thought we were better than this as fans. And I'm not criticising people for having that opinion at all. You pay your money, you can have your opinion. I think the booing at full time was over the top. I've said that before. You pay your money, you have the right to boo. Did I boo? No. I did shout fucking... What did I shout now? It weren't effing rubbish. I think it were effing joke or something like that. Because I was frustrated with the result. But... The performance wasn't as bad as making out. We, ju we just lacked that killer instinct. And genuinely, I, I know Lyle Foster's not you know, the most well thought of player in the world. And I was saying this on Twitter and someone were coming back at me saying that he, he doesn't like Lyle, which is fair enough. I don't think he's been great this season. But I still would like to see Fleming in the 10, where he's best, where he that's his natural position, and Lyle in the 9. The reason why, in my opinion, Lyle hasn't worked in the 9 is because we have... Three very defensive-minded midfielders behind him normally in um, Hannibal, Cullen, and Brownells. To be fair, is not defensive-minded, but when he play when he's played further back rather than in his position, then he's a little bit further back, obviously. So then Lyle comes deep to get the ball. If you've got a ten in that position, Fleming doing all the legwork for Lyle and then getting the ball to Lyle. I think that might work. I think that might. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. But I think that might work. You know, Lyle's been here for a while now, and he's, and we're still, other than glimpses like Luton away last year, Villa away last year, other than glimpses, we still haven't seen him consistently perform for us. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Lyle might get that chance, and he might be way off it again. But I just think, I just think, the result is awful. Can't argue with that the result is awful obviously it could have been worse we could have lost they did it at the bar in what the fifth minute it could have been a lot worse imagine how frustrating that would have been if they scored that and just camped in their own half um, so it could have been worse but yeah the result is awful I don't think the performance is as bad as people are making out is it entertaining no if, if we'd have won that by them two chances that I mentioned 2 0, which would have made it a little bit more comfortable, would people be complaining about the style of play now? I, I don't think they would. I think the people are mourning because the result was awful and it's the same script we've seen three or four times already this season. We saw it at home against Preston, we saw it at home against, sorry, away against Oxford, we saw it at home against uh, Plymouth, but obviously we got the penalty, we saw it at home today. We just can't break teams down. We, we just cannot break teams down. And that is the frustrating thing. And don't get me wrong, it is frustrating. But it's, it, it's been an overreaction tonight, in my opinion. I, I, I get it. It's, it's going to reach a boiling point eventually if, if, we, if we don't keep winning games. But come on. What is it? 28th of October? 26th. 26th of October. It's, it's not... In my opinion, as 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 bad as some people are making out, 
it's, we, we should we should be looking a bit more comfortable in the league table, in my opinion, with, with the points that we've dropped against the teams that we've dropped. But it, it's it's not horrendous, you know. It's I, I do people keep saying it's getting worse every week. I I see signs of improvement. I saw signs of improvement today. I was frustrated with that second half because we played so well in the first and then we didn't carry it on in the second. But I do think there are signs of improvement. I'm just worried about how bad we are in the final third. Because I'll be fair, I'm not seeing signs of improvement in that final third. I, I'm not at all. We've tried Lyle, we've tried Fleming. You know, I, I'm not seeing signs of improvement there. Corley Orshaw, similar kind of performance today. Um, headless chicken, I've seen him described as. Probably a bit harsh, but you know, he's a similar thing. He just gets into the final third and shits himself. Anthony, same, same again today. Just gets into the final third, doesn't know what to do with it. But, you know, if it weren't for them two last-ditch challenges, it, it could have been better. I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm just trying to give perspective on it more than telling you guys how you should feel. Like, yeah, I understand you're frustrated. I'm frustrated. But I just think I just think it's an overreaction. Like, bigger fans, like, with a big following and big accounts, all that like, saying, that's it, get Parker out now. Like, come on. It's, we're not Everton, you know. We're, we're, not, we're not Newcastle, you know, with the overreactive fans. I didn't think we were. But, yeah, it's a frustrating result, but I don't think it's as bad as people making out. And at the risk of repeating myself, I'm going to wrap it up here. Frustrating result, yes. Bad result, yes. Is it as bad as people are making out? No. Was it better than Hull? Yes. Was the first half good? Yes. The first half performance-wise was decent until we got into the final third. Like, we got the ball high up the pitch a lot today, more than probably what we have done all season. But then we just couldn't do anything with it in that final third. So, for me... I'd keep the, t the team the team similar for the next game for what it was today because I do think Laron helped the midfield. Maybe change the wingers, try that. Maybe give Sarmiento a start. But did he didn't he start against? I can't. He started relatively recently, not against Hull, but he has started relatively recently. I remember being underwhelmed with him in the starting position. He might have helped coming off the bench today. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Maybe try Hontondre. I know he doesn't look great, but maybe stick him in the nine and Fleming in the ten. Then Fleming can, you know, do all the donkey work and 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 then drop one of the midfielders. I don't know. I don't know. I just I just feel like the main thing we missed today was that cutting edge that a proper number nine would have given us. And when you look at Scott Parker's other teams, when he was at Fulham, he had Mitrovic. When he was at Bournemouth, Solanke, I think. we need. He needs one of them players to... Because he gets them, his tactics will get you in the positions. Like it might not be great to watch, but we were getting in the positions in the final third today. We just weren't doing enough with it in that final third. I just feel like if we had a striker today, a good striker, and I know it's obviously a ridiculous example, but say if we had Chris Wood in that in, in that team today, I'm only using him as an example because he's an ex Burnley player and he's doing very well at the minute. But imagine if we had Chris Wood in that team today. I honestly think he scores. Two of them corners, minimum. But, yeah, I'll just wrap it up. But, yeah, I, I, I just think it wasn't as bad as people are making out, especially in that first half. The thing that was missing was just a goal. And we didn't get that because we just do not have that cutting edge. But, yeah, still second, nine unbeaten. Those are the positives up the Clarets.